Okay, so now in this lesson, we'll, um, we're going to go ahead and adjust these light planes and actually hide them from the camera. And then we'll go ahead and bring in our camera, set up our camera to go ahead and get our depth of field correct to go ahead and render. And then we'll actually start rendering. So first thing we want to do is, with our first light plane here, emitter selected, we want to go over here to our object properties window. And since it's on our fader 1 control, I'm just going to also turn the exclude flag here to exclude from the camera so that the camera is not going to be able to see it whenever we go to render. And I'm just going to basically do the same for the rest of these here. So 2 and exclude from the camera. Go 3 and exclude that from the camera. The fourth one here and fader 4 and exclude from the camera go ahead and click accept and they're all set up correctly so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and bring our car in here but as you can see I actually missed the material there so let's go ahead with that selected just add the chrome material real quick a little bit of change there sorry about that so now let's go ahead and bring our camera into the scene here go ahead and look through our fry render camera just gonna go ahead and scroll back a little bit now what I want to do in order to go ahead and set up what our depth of field setting is we need to go ahead and I'm gonna create a polygon sphere real quick and just drag it out I'll probably have to move yeah a little bit so I can actually create the polygon sphere go ahead, scroll back and as you can see, right in front of the camera, it's at 65 units away from the camera. But I want to actually be able to capture the back part of this plane here. So what I want to take and do is just move the sphere back till it's behind the polygon plane. And now as I can see, the distance from the camera here is 156 units, 0 0.712. So what I want to do is just go ahead and delete that polygon sphere select our fry render camera go over to the attributes here scroll down and look for the depth of field I'm going to turn this on and for the focus distance um, since we had for that polygon sphere 156 units I'm going to go ahead and turn this up to say like 250 this way it takes out all of the noise in the scene and it's actually going to capture to be in focus all the way back to the back part of the plane here. The f-stop means how much detail it's actually the image is actually going to capture and how much light's going to be in the scene. So I'm going to turn that up to say like 25. Overall, that's going to produce a pretty dark image. But since we have four light planes in our scene and we're going to use an HDRI, which I'll show you how to set up next, it's going to capture enough of the detail so that we have a good high-res render. So with all that set up. Let's make sure our camera's in the right position here. I'm just going to go ahead and scroll up until I get our focal length here. I'm just going to hold down control and left mouse drag till it's a little bigger on the image. Okay. And now I'm going to go into our render settings. Make sure that we're going to render with Fry Render here. Go into our environment settings and uncheck because we aren't going to use the sun. But we're going to use an environment map here. So I'm go ahead and select that and we're going to go ahead and choose our bitmap and I'm just going to choose one of them that I have on my desktop which is this DH207SN as you can see it's basically an interior HDRI and that's going to leave us or give us a pretty good render so go ahead and click accept open our render settings we're in under our export configuration we're going to go ahead and choose export RCS plus execute fry render we're going to choose a single frame and I'm just going to simply go ahead and change the width and height here to say 1500 and I mean it, not 15,000 I'm sorry 1500 and that'll go ahead and give us a, a pretty decent image big enough to see all the detail that we need and CPU threads I'm not going to change anything our kernel I'm, I'm going to keep it as the tech core and um, as far as channels, I'm not going to render out 
an ambient channel or a velocity or a mask channel or a Z depth channel. So go ahead and click accept. Close this. We're going to go ahead and bring up our render window. And now I'm going to go ahead and launch Fry Render. And I'll show you that it's actually going to bring all of our geometry into Fry Render here. And here you go. It's actually bringing all of our geometry in. Move that over. And as you can see, we have all of our light plane controls. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this back down. It's going to take a minute to actually get a, an image to pop up here in the right hand corner as we have a lot of geometry in the scene. Because I think the car is pretty much about 2 million polygons. Give or take. And now as you can see, our image has gone and popped up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop on this lesson of the tutorial. Let this render out and then when I come back I'll show you how to go ahead and adjust our lights for our render.